I already know I'm gonna be upset because I know I'm gonna film this video, edit it, and then realize that I missed a cartoon that I actually used to really love, but who cares? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Zaria Smith and I typically make commentary videos just like this one. So if you guys happen to like that or just happen to like my gorgeous face, make sure to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell to get notified every single time I post, which happens to be on Mondays and on Fridays. And wow, look, I'm wearing glasses today. You might be being like, Zaria wears glasses or why is she wearing glasses? And well, I feel very sick right now, not like COVID, well actually kind of is, sick because I got the second dose of my vaccine yesterday and I thought I was gonna feel fine to film a video but in fact I don't um I'm in pain I can't move like this arm really much at all without you know crying and I have a migraine so I'm wearing my glasses because I'm looking at my screen and the thought of trying to squint my eyes to read my screen just for aesthetic reasons so you don't see the reflection in my glasses um i don't have the energy for it today um so today's <laughs> candle is champagne toast because i am celebrating that i did get my you know second dose of my vaccine so basically i had this idea that during the month of march i wanted to do a march madness tournament style um ranking of something but it's now no longer March. Um, and I think the last March Madness game happened like a week ago. Um, but since I am quite sickly and I want to provide you guys a video today, I was gonna live stream, I might live stream in the future, but I think you guys deserve a video even though I'm feeling, you know, like trash. So today we're gonna be doing childhood cartoon um, March Madness tournament. Um, this is based upon shows that popped in my head as I was filling out the brackets. So I could have forgotten a show that you must have happened to like. I was born in 2001, so a lot of shows that came on before I was alive, you know, I can't really say much about those because I didn't really watch them. Um, but I do know of a lot of stuff, so if you want me to make an updated version or just a Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, whatever version, let me know. I would gladly do that. But <laughs> without further ado, let us get into the March Madness. I guess we can call it April Madness. As we can see, I'm on Google Sheets because I don't like, um, <laughs> I don't like Microsoft Word. I can't explain to it but i'm on google sheets um and i'm gonna show you guys basically the ranking or the teams in this essence so we have spongebob my life as a teenage robot cat dog barn yarn cat scratch mighty b danny phantom el tigre the grim adventures of billy and mandy ed ed and eddie totally spies versus powerpuff girls Chowder versus The Misadventures of Flapjack, Regular Show versus Adventure Time, Toledoma Island versus Sixteen, Camp Laszlo versus My Gym Partners and Monkey, Johnny Bravo versus Codename Kids Next Door, Jimmy Neutron versus Fanboy and Chum Chum, Hey Arnold versus As Told by Ginger, Wings Club versus The Backyardigans, <laughs> Wow Wow Bubsy versus Fairly Odd Parents, Invader Zim versus Ben Ten. Then over here, oh my God, what is this? Okay, then over here, we have Dragon Tales versus Courage the Cowardly Dog, Brandy and Mr. Whiskers versus Cyber Chase, Max and Ruby versus Charlie and Lola, Bratz versus Brace Face, Bunny Maloney versus Puka, Happy Tree Friends versus Code Lyoko, Teen Titans versus Yin Yang Yo, Kick Potowski versus Johnny Test, Baking. Fiends versus American Dragon Jake Long, Crash Box versus Happily Ever After, Growing Up Creepy versus Tut and Stein, Hero 108 versus George of the Jungle, Mad versus The Amazing World of Gumball, Steven Universe versus Gravity Falls, Kim Possible versus The Pratt Family, and then Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends versus Dexter Lab Dexter's Laboratory. That is all the cartoons that I could think of, which is surprisingly a lot like I didn't realize how many shows I watched and it's even more than this because I watched you know live action tv I loved a good property brothers and a good destroy build destroy I loved oh my gosh a thousand ways to die was like one of my favorite shows to watch so either way <laughs> let's get into this ranking either way so 
First, we have SpongeBob versus My Life as a Teenage Robot. I feel like when we talk about longevity, SpongeBob obviously ran more, but also I feel like My Life as a Teenage Robot has a lot of like important themes. But also, SpongeBob is so cool because children weren't allowed to watch it. Like, I have friends and people that I know who parents said that they weren't allowed to watch SpongeBob. So, for that, we are doing SpongeBob because I think that is hilarious. Next, we have Cat Dog versus Barnyard. Cat Dog was such a great show, and I genuinely love it, but Barnyard <laughs> has such, like, great, co- like, I can't express how, like, I could watch Barnyard now and I could burst out laughing. Cat Dog, I probably could too, but, you know, I've watched Barnyard a whole lot more than I watch Cat Dog, so for this, we're gonna say Barnyard is winning for that one. Um, next we have Cat Scratch versus Mighty B. Now Mighty B, I loved that show. It was so funny, so iconic, so everything. But Cat Scratch is just so good. This is hard. I probably should have done easier picks. I think I'm going to do Mighty B. Even though Cat Scratch was like my favorite cartoon when I was little. Like I loved Cat Scratch. Next, we have Danny Phantom versus El Tigre. I'm CK. Look, so both of these center around heroes, you know. Danny Phantom is cute. I'm sure a lot of us had awakenings when we watched that show. Um, but El Tigre was just so good. It was so good for what it was. But like, also, Danny Phantom had like Ember, like, Ember, you will remember my name, you know, type of vibe. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for Danny Phantom, though that is very hard. So next we have The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy versus Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Um, I feel like this is a given. Like, because Ed, Ed, and Eddie is cool, fun, funky, and fresh, but Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy just had something in it. Something great. Though... I will say that the Ed Ed, like, I will say that, like, Ed Ed and Eddie is a great TV show, and I will watch that still, like, as an adult, but I think that for the culture and for, like, Grimm, I love him, so we're doing Grimm Adventures of Billy and Mandy for that one. Next, we have Totally Spies versus Powerpuff Girls, and I'm saying Totally Spies. This isn't even, like, a hard thing, because Totally Spies outfits changed every single episode. What other cartoon was doing that? That's, like, like amazing you know and also like I think that Powerpuff Girls was a like, cool fun funky and fresh but like Totally Spies was like teenage girls who love shopping are also like defeating all these villains and I just think that's so cool you know so next <laughs> we have Chowder versus The Misadventures of Flapjack and I have no idea why I made this so hard for myself when I literally didn't have to because both of these shows are good I will say over quarantine I have rewatched both Chowder and Misadventures of Flapjack and I would say that Chowder is very funny in the essence that they have very like breaking the fourth wall jokes. Very, very funny. I love that all the characters are named after food items. I think that's so cool. And the Mr. Adventures of Flapjack, I feel like that was a show that I probably shouldn't have watched. Obviously I didn't understand the context, but Flapjack is like kind of scary. Like like the overall enthusiasm vibe that that was if you don't know what that is I guess I can put in a clip but so the for that I'm gonna pick chowder though (laughs) I feel like me as a person I like I love both of those shows oh my god I forgot that I had a shot in my arm because I was laughing okay next this one is going to cause some drama I already know because it's regular show versus adventure time and love love regular show regular show and adventure time are honestly probably two of the best shows on Cartoon Network Um, to air. However, Adventure Time is taking the cake on this because I love it. That's all. Regular Show is really good and is really really rewatchable, but like Regular Show doesn't have the same like emotions, the same life lessons as Adventure Time. You know, so that's why I'm picking that. Next we have Total Drama Island versus 16, which I believe were made by the same studio in Canada. And I'm gonna say, ooh, well, here's the thing, because I'm talking about specifically Total Drama Island, not like the Total Drama <laughs> franchise, because that's a lot. But, hmm, 
I guess we're going to go with 16. 16 was pretty cool. Next we have Camp Lazlo versus my partner, the monkey. This is pretty easy because Camp Lazlo had such an off the walls, random ending. Like basically the camp, it's weird that I still remember this to this day, but the camp counselor that they had been dealing with for two seasons ended up not actually being their camp counselor and he had kidnapped the actual camp counselor they were supposed to have, which would explain why they had so many antics. And I literally hate that. I hate the trope of like, oh, it was all just a dream or oh, like I hate that. Hate that. Camp Lazo was good up until that point. So we're doing that. Next we have Johnny Bravo versus Codename Kids Next Door. I'm gonna say Codename Kids Next Door solely because I don't remember much from Johnny Bravo, but what I do remember was that he was kind of weird. Not as weird as like Pepe Le Pew type of weird, but like just something <laughs> didn't feel right when I was a kid and doesn't feel right now. I could be wrong, but yeah. And now Jimmy Neutron versus Fanboy and Chum Chum. Obviously Jimmy Neutron. Fanboy and Chum Chum came out, I believe, when I was like starting to get a little bit older. And that was very obviously aimed towards an audience that like wasn't meant for me. So <laughs> it was very strange to watch Fanboy and Chum Chum, but I watched it because I was obsessed with the plot or whatever it was for the reason back then. But yeah, so Jimmy Neutron wins that for sure. Next we have Hey Arnold versus As Told by Ginger. I'm gonna say Hey Arnold's because as I loved As Told by Ginger, I just feel like Hey Arnold prop, like was like better. <laughs> Though I do love both of those shows. And now we have Winx Club versus The Backyardigans. Obviously Winx Club. The Backyardigans was cute, but like I could not bring myself to watch The Backyardigans like again today. Though I do appreciate all of, you know, the, <laughs> the POC representation despite them all being animals like Uniqua, Tyrone like those are not white people so I appreciate that but now moving on we have Wow Wow Wubsy versus Fairly Odd Parents now Wow Wow Wubsy they must have put literal crack in their theme song because I would literally just listen to it on you loop and then like when I would have like a computer like when I got like my first computer from my mom I would just go onto YouTube and I would look up Wow Wow Wubsy theme song and just listen to it on loop. Like, it was a problem. However, For the Odd Parents is very good. It's a very good show, very, you know, decent. But I think I'm gonna give it to For the Odd Parents solely because I feel like the majority of people watching this video probably have no idea what Wow Wow Wubsy is. And if I choose that over For the Odd Parents, someone's probably gonna get mad at me. So now we have Invader Zim versus Ben 10. Obviously Invader Zim is like even a question. Next, we have on the other side, Dragon Tales versus Courage. Obviously, Courage. Courage is such a good show. I want to get a tattoo of him on my leg. So, you know, love him. Next, we have Brandy Mr. Viscous versus Cyber Chase. Now, I believe Cyber Chase was on PBS. And a lot of PBS shows were good. <coughs> okay. But Brandy Mr. Whiskers had something about it that I loved. And then I loved going on the computer and like playing the little Brandy Mis Mr. Whiskers like little mini game. So for that, we're doing Brandy and Mr. Whiskers. Um, for Max and Ruby versus Charlie and Lola, which I thought was funny because I'm like two names versus two names. I'm going to say Charlie and Lola because Max and Ruby was kind of depressing. I'm not going to lie. And actually, I have Brass versus Brace Face. Obviously, I'm going to choose Brass, though Brace Face was good. I just prefer Brats a thousand percent more. Now we have Bunny Maloey versus Puka, which these were some of my favorite shows when I was little. Like I love Bunny Maloey. It's a reason why I wanted to speak French because the blue character's name was Jean-Francois and I literally loved him. Um, but Puka, there's just something about Puka that like, it's just my brain just right. And I love it. So we're gonna do Puka for that one. And now for Happy Tree Friends versus Code Lyoko. Code Lyoko was such an interesting show. The animation style was definitely different from what I was seeing back then. Um, but Happy Tree Friends was, I don't even know how that show was even aired in the first place. Psychotic, crazy, like off the walls. Should not, children should not be watching this show. And for that, I'm gonna do Code Lyoko because Happy Tree Friends kind of traumatized me and probably a lot of people. Now we have Teen Titans versus Yin Yang Yo. I'm gonna do yin yang yo but solely because the finale for teen titans like the actual finale because if you don't know if you don't know the the background basically the teen titans had filmed i think it was three or animated three different series endings but 
I believe it was Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon, one of those, kept on, like, just renewing them for another season. So every single season, they would just do a finale, so in case that was the end, that was the end. But then the actual last episode was so horrible. Like, Tara forgot her memory. It was a whole thing with Beast Boy, and I didn't like it. I remember when I was little getting, like, pissed and, like, throwing my pillow across the room. So for that, we are doing Yin Yo. Next is Kick Potowski versus Johnny Tess. I'm going to say Johnny Tess because Johnny, like, I love the talking dog trope. I feel like we all do. Next, we have Making Fiends versus Jake Dragon. <laughs> We're going to say American Dragon, though Making Fiends was a bop. I don't think that show was, like, long enough. It should have been so much longer. Now we have Crashbox versus Happily Ever After. Now, these were shows on HBO. So if you didn't have HBO when you were younger, you probably haven't seen either of these shows. So Crashbox was kind of like a brain teasers type of show and happily ever after was taking like princess tales and changing it to being um like with with um poc people in the front like i remember specifically the cinderella story i liked and then rumpelstiltskin that i liked also the princess and the p one i really enjoyed that one so i'm gonna say happily ever after because i feel like it was so good for the time of representation. Now I have Growing Up Creepy versus Tuttenstein, and I'm just gonna say Growing Up Creepy because while Tuttenstein was good, I think Growing Up Creepy resonated with me more. Um, I think it made me the emo that I was for so long. I guess I kind of still am. <laughs> now we have George of the Jungle versus Hero 108. I'm gonna say George of the Jungle because Hero 108, there was something wrong with that show. <laughs> now we have Mad versus Gumball, and I'm obviously gonna pick Gumball, but. Mad was kind of like so random, but I guess it was a combination of so random and robot chicken. Um, very crazy, very off the walls. Gave me very like Eric Andre vibes type of show. Um, so it was very entertaining, but yeah. And for Steven Universe versus Gravity Falls, I'm saying Gravity Falls because while Steven Universe had a lot of, I think Steven Universe is like one of the most solid TV shows that came out on Cartoon Network. But Gravity Falls, oh, it's just so good. Like, it's so good. I feel like I would be doing a disservice to say Gravity Falls or that Steven Universe is, like, better than Gravity Falls. I think they're very comparable, like, shows, you know? So next we have Kim Possible versus The Proud Family. I'm going to say The Proud Family um, for obvious reasons. Next we have Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends versus Dexter's Laboratory. And I'm going to, no, it would be Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Mostly because I love that character named Cheese. Oh, he was everything. Now going back to the other side, for Spongebob versus Barnyard, I'm gonna have to say Spongebob. Oh my god. Now for Mighty Bee versus Danny Phantom, I would say Danny Phantom. For Grim Adventures Bill and Mandy versus Totally Spies, I'm gonna say Grim Adventures. For Chatter versus Adventure Time, I'm gonna say Adventure Time. For 16 versus Majin Partners a Monkey, I'm gonna say Majin Partners a Monkey. K and D versus Jimmy Neutron, Codename Kids Next Door. This is getting a lot easier the further that I get down. Hey Arnold versus Winx Club. Um, Winx Club. For the Odd Parents versus Vader Zim, and Vader Zim, a thousand percent. I'm a hot topic kid, so obviously Vader Zim is going to resonate with me. Um, Courage versus Rainy Whisker Whiskers, definitely Courage. Charlie and Lola. Am I stupid? Oh no. Charlie and Lola versus Bratz <laughs> it is Bratz for sure. Um, Puka versus Kodlioko, Puka. Ying Yang Yo versus Johnny Test, Ying Yang Yo for sure. American Dragon, Jake Long versus Happy Ever After, American Dragon. Growing Up Creepy versus George of the Jungle, George of the Jungle. Um, Gumball versus Gravity Falls, ooh. Ooh, God, this is hard. I guess I'm gonna say Gumball because that show's still running and Gravity Falls had like a good ending, but yeah. Next, Proud Family versus Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. I'm gonna say Foster's Home because that was a very, very good, oh my God, very good vibe, right? So now we're moving on. This is, we're speeding through this, man. So now SpongeBob versus Danny Phantom. I'm gonna say SpongeBob. Grim Adventures Billy Mandy versus Adventure Time. Adventure Time for sure. Um, My Jump Partner is a Monkey versus Coding Kids Next Door. Probably Coding Kids Next Door, to be honest. Um, Wings Club versus Invader Zim. Invader Zim. 
for sure. Over here, we got, ooh, Courage versus Bratz. I'm probably going to say Courage. Um, Puka versus Ying Yang Yo. Puka. Ooh, actually. No, yeah, Puka. Because I like specifically the episode where they make a gigantic bowl of noodles. <laughs> that I could actually really be wrong with that. Um, but, okay, next we have American Dragon Jake Long versus Happy Yet. Oh, my God, versus George of the Jungle. Um, I'll say American Dragon Jake Long. Gumball versus Foster's Home. Ooh. I guess Gumball. Oh, no. Okay, now we're in, I think this is the quarterfinals. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, SpongeBob versus Adventure Time. I'm going to say Adventure Time is definitely better. For sure. Now we have the Theater Zim versus Code New Kids Next Door. Ooh. I don't know. Um, who did Cody and Kids Next Door? Okay, now we have Courage versus Puka. I'm gonna say Courage. And then Gumball, for sure. Now we have Adventure Time versus The Amazing World of Gumball. So, which show is better? Adventure Time or the Using Rule Gumball? Adventure Time? Gumball is very funny and it's currently still airing. So I feel like I can't say like, oh, a show that hasn't been finished yet is better than a show that already ended and then had those specials on HBO Max, which I absolutely loved. And also like having like great LGBT representation in Adventure Time, great themes, great shows. I'm literally gonna probably get a, like one of Finn's swords tattooed on my rib. So for all of those reasons, the winner for today is Adventure Time. I feel like snot like pulling in my nose. Oh my God, hold on. But <laughs> yeah, so the winner for our, you know, March Madness slash April Madness is Adventure Time. I honestly feel like it, that's that's probably right. <laughs> you know, obviously all of these shows I love or else they wouldn't be on the list. Like for instance, I didn't put in Mr. Meany because that show traumatized me. Um, you know, so I feel like with the options that we had, I'm very confident with this um, <laughs> this one. Let me know in your opinion, like what you would have picked for these. Um, and yeah, so um, that's my video. If you guys liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up because it really, really helps small channels like mine. Um, make sure to subscribe down below um, because I want to get 3,000 subscribers, hopefully by the end of April, early May. Who knows if that will happen? Fingers crossed that it does. Um, and yeah, so make sure to stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.